Alopecia by Havisha Bosch, Ryan Davis, and Quinn Foley. What is alopecia? Alopecia is a type of hair loss that occurs when the immune system mistakenly attacks hair follicles, which is where hair growth begins. Clumps of hair fall out, resulting in totally smooth, round, hairless patches on the head, or, depending on the type of alopecia, complete hair loss on the scalp and on the body. Alopecia is not permanent, which means that the damaged hair follicles will grow back. Causes of alopecia. Someone with alopecia most likely had family history of the disease, or if they have another autoimmune disease, if they are prone to allergies, or if they have history of extensive hair loss. Alopecia can be hereditary. It is thought to be autosomal recessive, but since no gene has been linked with alopecia and there is no re specific region on the genome, it is not known for sure. Types of alopecia. There are three types of alopecia. Patchy, totalis, and universalis. Alopecia areta patchy is the most common type. It occurs in round, oval shaped patches of hair loss. Alopecia areta totalis is the loss of hair from the entire scalp. Alopecia areta universalis is the loss of hair from the scalp and the entire body, which means that one can lose hair on the eyebrows, eyelashes, facial hair, and the rest of the body. Symptoms. Someone with alopecia will experience hair loss either in patches, complete hair loss of the scalp, or complete hair loss on the body. Nails are also affected. Dents or pitting can occur. White spots and lines show up. Nails can become rough. They can lose their shine. They thin and they split, and they can also lose their shape. Who was affected? Men and women are equally affected. People with family members who have had alopecia in the past are most likely to be affected. And again, people with pre-existing autoimmune diseases are most likely to be affected. Cures and remedies. There is no cure to alopecia, but it can be treated. There are many types of treatments, but the most common types are by pills, foam, injections, or topical creams. Other information. Alopecia is not painful nor contagious. You may first notice the problem when you see clumps of hair on your pillow or in the shower. Most likely, nail changes are the first signs. Hair loss mostly occurs on the scalp but once again, it can involve eyebrows, eyelashes, beards, and they can vary in size. Alopecia areta is an unpredictable disease. In some people, hair grows back but falls out again later. In others, hair grows back and remains. Each case is unique. If someone loses all of his or her hair, there is a chance that it will grow back. Alopecia areta affects nearly 2% of Americans of both sexes and of all ages and ethnic backgrounds. It often begins in childhood. When hair grows back, it may grow back white in color.